All right, so this is the ninth video. Good job if you made this far and you've actually watched it once before that. You are more than halfway there to your salvation through Jesus Christ, of course. So this is the ninth sin of the Galatians 5 series discussing all of the sins which are a total of 16 that would keep you from heaven. You can repent of these things and turn away from your sin to be forgiven so that you do not go to hell through the blood of Jesus Christ. Practicing sin means that you can continue to do it. You cannot do that and get to heaven. You need to let it go. All right. So the ones before this were adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, uncleanness was before that. Sorry, sorry. So let's see, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, and variance. And now we're on to emulation. So emulation is the one we're talking about today. <clears throat> First off, we're gonna start by giving you the definition of emulation, which is pretty simple. Most of the time you'll see that uh, in other versions of the Bible, besides the King James Version, that they will turn the word around to ambition. So and for a good reason. So we'll check the definition here and then I'll give you examples. Alright, so the definition of emulation is ambition to equal or excel. So that is the definition of emulation in the Bible, the Bible's definition. So what does that mean? So here are the examples for you is when somebody, let's make it really simple, is when you have a goal in life of any kind, doesn't matter what that goal is, um, whether it's getting married or having a son or a daughter or becoming the next basketball, the greatest basketball player or football player or hockey player um, or singing or anything, is whenever you have that goal and you place it above God. That's emulation. When you're willing to do anything to, to achieve that goal, even if it means that you are breaking the commandments of Jesus Christ that are given to you as a Christian. So that's what emulation is. Now that ties along with idolatry, which I will most likely link to this video as well. Um, but it is a little bit different so that's why it's placed as a separate word in here so we cannot place things above God what does that mean what does that mean to place some above God just like I said when you are willing to break God's commandments to achieve it it also means whenever it becomes the main thing you want to do in life you don't you want to do that first before you read your Bible you want to do that without ever reading your Bible. You make excuses to why you don't read your Bible, but you are doing these things and you're, you've become so good at it that you're almost a master at it or you're exceptionally good at it because you're spending all your time doing these things rather than spending time with God. The only way that we spend time with God, or the best way better yet, is through reading our work. It's not through singing songs that we like to sing and prayers only, but the better way is that we read our word. The Bible tells us, or God better yet tells us, to meditate on his word day and night. So it's important that we know the commandments because they give us life through Jesus Christ. His words and what he commanded gives us life. Not the oldness of the letter and not the Old Testament because we are Christians. So... That's basically, I think I've given enough to tell you what the definition is so that you understand it and the perspective of God on it and, and whatnot. So if you have anything to add, you can comment on this video as well to help other people. Or if you have any questions, you can also leave comments on any of the videos. So that will wrap it up.